Thank you, Ardian News. Lars von Trier inspired by Donald Trump for new serial killer film. Lars von Trier, the Danish auteur whose films have rarely shied from controversy, is to make a film inspired in part by new U.S. President Donald Trump. The previously announced The House That Jack Built stars Matt Dillon in the title role as a highly intelligent man we follow over 12 years. The film introduces the murders that define his development as a serial killer. Speaking on February 13, Von Trier explained the project's origins further, the house that Jack built celebrates the idea that life is evil and soulless, which is sadly proven by the recent rise of the homo Trumpus the Rat King. Last week, Von Trier shared a photo to promote the film, of himself, in period costume, with scythe, tolling a bell. He described the picture as an evocative image with a cinematic reference apparently to fellow Dane Carl Theodore Dreyer's 1932 horror vampire. Von Trier in Berlin, February 2014 Von Trier in Berlin, February 2014 Photograph, Camilla Morandi slash Rex the director has largely refrained from commenting on his films since he was declared persona non grata at the Cannes Film Festival after making a joke about Hitler at a press conference for the film Melancholia in 2011. His next film, Nymphomaniac, 2014, premiered in two halves at the Berlin Film Festival. A hardcore odyssey featuring real sex, it starred regular collaborator Charlotte Gainsbourg alongside Uma Thurman and Shia Leibayouf. Leibayouf's co-star in American Honey, Riley Kia, will also feature in The House That Jack Built, alongside the killing Sophie Gra with Ring Above BL. After his Nazi jokes saw him ejected from Cannes in 2011, Lars von Trier took a vow of silence. In one of the first interviews he's given since then, Lucy Chung met him at the Zentropa studio in Denmark to talk about sex, alcoholism, and his reaction to the Copenhagen shootings. Von Trier has never been to the U.S., but many of his films are set there, including 2009's Antichrist, in which Gainsbourg takes sharp implements to her and husband Willem Dafoe's genitals and Dogvalley, 2003 a Brechtian epic that sees visitor Nicole Kidman enslaved by local townsfolk. The end credits of that film involved stills of atrocities committed before the end of slavery, to the sound of David Bowie's Young Americans. The house that Jack built begins shooting in Sweden in March, before moving to Copenhagen in May. It will be released in 2018.